Hello and welcome to my Emacs screencast. Today I'd like to show a few pieces of my coding workflow with an example commit to Acelink. Acelink is a library that collects links that are visible in the current window and it uses AV to let you select one of them and open it. For example, let's uh, see the way it behaves in the info mode. Um, I press, uh, so usually you would uh, press tab and then press enter, but with Acelink you can press O and then select one of them. For instance, if I want org mode, I press KA. And then if I want to do it again, KD and do it again, configuration H publish links. So it's just a faster way of uh, going through links. Uh, this is available in org mode buffers, uh, go to Agvaris mode, uh, help mode, uh, mon mode, whatever, GNU's. Um, okay, and the uh, issue was that uh, these overlays, uh, basically these kind of characters that uh, allow you to select a position in a buffer, that they were, for in some instance, hard-coded, uh, for some reason, hard-coded in uh, ACE link. Um, well, they're not f f for now, so I'll just uh, uh, revert to uh, the previous version. And now you see that uh, this was hard coded. And uh, let me actually just look at the market commit and see what I did here. Also, it's, this will be useful for reference. So I'll just do the same thing I did again and uh, show you the kind of uh, things you can uh, use, uh, macros and uh, whatever, just to get things uh, done faster or at least uh, in a more clever way. Um, by the way, uh, you can see uh, the the echo of my commands here thanks to command log mode and in this column you have uh, the key bindings and in this column uh, the name of the command to which the key, key binding is bound. Um, this is of course very specific to my custom config uh, if you want to quickly uh, start, start it or look at my config it's available in GitHub so uh, here and uh, uh, let's let's get to uh, this uh, customization thing. Um, so b basically, any command uh, with uh, which is included in AV has this uh, wrapper macro AV with, which uh, binds uh, the AV style, which is the style of the overlay that you can select. Um, you can select one of the five. Uh, um, if you're interested, I suggest you. Uh, try one of them one by one. Basically, uh, uh, this style is called pre because it overrides, uh, um, this style is called add because it overrides the character. You can also have uh, uh, it before the character that you want to select or after the character and things like that. So uh, you can customize it globally if you set it or you can customize it per command. For instance, for some command you want to have it pre and for other command you want to have it at full and so on. And uh, yeah, so Ace Link already had this wrapper. You just need to, I just needed to replace it uh, with uh, this AV style fun construct, and uh, then it's all good. And uh, one more thing that I wanted to do is these default uh, uh, built in uh, hard coded uh, functions, I wanted to have them in the default uh, setup. So here we have the function uh, Ace Link setup default, and uh, I just add these post and pre. Some of them are post, some of them are, are pre, I just add them here. So uh, uh, let's uh, see how I would uh, find this uh, AV overlay thing. So uh, I just use the uh, swiper and actually this command is console grab or swiper, which makes it, f which is basically a swiper, but it's fast for huge buffers. So in this case, buffer is not huge and uh, swiper is called. Um, so uh, the way Swiper works, it just uh, you input. It's very similar to iSearch. You input what you you're looking for, and it shows you the amount of matching candidates and the line. And uh, so let's see, A B overlay, and there's nine instances of hard coded style functions. Some of them are post, some of them are pre. Let's say for some reason I want to select. Uh, uh, just to show off post and pre, let's say there was a third option and we just wanted to select the first two, so I say here post. Uh, you see now there, instead of nine, there's only six, and then I use the regex or expression pre. So now both of them are selected. 
uh, the way Swiper works is okay, Control N, Control B, I can just uh, cycle between them as you would do with iSearch. But now what I want to do is I want to save this search for later. Uh, for this I press ID of her. Uh, the, the default shortcut is actually Control C, Control O, but uh, this is my custo custom shortcut that I, I like to use. So this uh, is not unique to Swiper, basically any kind of ID session, you can uh, save it for later. And by clicking the thing, it calls the action that was uh, the same as in, in the mini buffer. So in this buffer, you can navigate with J and K. And to select without switching the window, you press F. And to select uh, uh, with switching the window, you press return, and now the point is in this window instead. It's also possible to toggle uh, calling the action with a C, and now JK, you don't have to press F anymore, now it's automatic. But I don't want to, I don't need this at the moment. Uh, what I need is actually um, my Maget buffer, Maget commit buffer. Yeah, actually, I want a scratch buffer for. Uh, saving stuff that happens during the macro and uh, let's basically let's start our macro so now I ne really need to be careful uh, which keys I'm pressing because the plan is to do a whole bunch of a uh, whole huge sequence of commands for the first candidate and then switch to the next candidate at the end of the macro and then I can just repeat it for all the candidates and it's important not to mess up sub because if you mess up in the middle of the sequence of commands, you have to restart it, uh, cancel the macro and start the recording uh, it again. So let's start. I press F3, uh, then I press return to switch to the first candidate. Then I mark the candidate with Lispy, mark symbol. Then I uh, cut it and insert the thing that I wanted to do before, which was uh, like AV, let's see, style function, yeah. A, B, start. Okay, and uh, now I go to the begin, go into special first, and I press big letter A to go to the beginning of the function and mark its name. Then I want to clone it. The reason why I'm doing this is uh, uh, because uh, I want to save this construct for later. So I do that. And now the function is back to normal, so I switch to the scratch buffer and paste what I just uh, saved. And uh, now it's uh, fine, and I can switch to the next candidate and end the macro. Then I just keep pressing F4 to do the same thing uh, for second candidate, for third candidate, and so on, till the end. And now uh, we see that uh, it's already done, and uh, some stuff has been accumulated in the uh, scratch buffer, so I want to uh, slurp it, this stuff into a program and then maybe multiline it and cut it uh, go back to here and I uh, wanted to put this into the default function so I go here and paste it uh, I think we don't need it, the program actually and uh, let's uh, switch to the market buffer for reference what we wanted to do here yes so this needs to be made to look like this and uh, of course uh, multiple cursors will be useful for this okay I add as many uh, as there are expressions here so I now want to wrap it around in add, uh, add to list um, then I quote this one uh, one line it and uh, select the second one switch to the different side and uh, deselect. Now I delete the word uh, up to here and I don't want this and now I want the dot because it's a const cell and now I'm done. No, I'm not done anymore because I forgot to unquote the thing. Okay, so I just go here and I unquote it. Okay, now it's done. So let's save the file and check in the mugget if I did the correct thing. Yes, uh, so the hard-coded functions were replaced and uh, the, the default settings, previous default settings are saved into this function. And uh, now I can just discard it and pull back the original commits. And that's it. Uh, I, uh, I showed uh, everything that I wanted to show for today. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.